you know, they're very thoughtfully here and as to think of the disabled people they put a low cash point for them right here look at that so they can just wheel in and no problem there for them very thoughtful as they're well done Yes, indeed, folks. It's an album that I really, really like. This is probably number two on the Jags favorite albums of all time. It's a rather strange one because Octopus, the band here, they were only around for a very brief time back in, well, when was this released? Let me just think about this, folks. Hang on a minute. Yeah, 1996, this came out and it came out with this gatefold sleeve and it's like a game you have to play now. I've got the pieces still in the house. They're like in a polythene bag. They've been opened. They're like little cars and a submarine and a, an octopus, funny enough. But it was a really well designed little package. And there's the band. There now the lead singer and main writer, Mark Shearer, is just a fantastic multi instrumentalist. And I don't know what happened to him after this album. I, I just loved it. The whole thing is full of psychedelic energy, man. It is incredibly addictive to listen to man I just loved it from the first moment I put it on back in 1996 and it's just an incredible thing now I must have it back in 1996 I was still dabbling in um, bits and pieces so it really struck a chord in me this album as I said it's very sort of Sid Barrett-ish Pink Floydy mixed in with some psychedelic kinks all sorts of 60s things in there but with a modern twist to it and it's just an incredibly Brilliant, brilliant album. I think Mark Shearer, as I said, I don't know what happened to him. He's, he's on YouTube playing a couple of the tunes from here on his acoustic guitar, but other than that, it's a complete mystery, man. I just don't know what happened to him, but I wish he would get back on and do something. He maybe has done something, but I don't know. But there it is, folks, Octopus. The album is called From A to B, and there's some really bouncy tracks on it, and a really slow one called A to B. From A to B. But look, I mean, look at this. It's the, it's the gatefold. There's the game board itself. Look at that. It's just an incredible... I think it's quite a collectible thing I've got here. And there's all the pieces. There's the, the dice and everything and the pieces there. Yeah, brilliant. I loved it. And I still do. I'm listening to it right now. So there we go. Number two on Jag's album of all time. Thank you. Right, folks cup of tea time here now here is a life hack you don't often see these here at Jag Lives now you know when you get these milk cartons for your cup of tea and you can't get them open sometimes because it can be a bit fiddly if you have a pin handy like I have right here here's a handy pin all you do is just poke a hole in the bottom like this boom and here you go look at that Lovely. There we go, and another one. Just a quick duke. In it goes. And there we are. Look at that. See how high you can get it. It's like milk in a cow. And the milk goes right into the cup there, and gets a good mix. There we are. Thank you very much indeed. And also a life hack here with the sugars. Oh, it's not really a life hack. It's just a shortcut. Now I take three of mine, so what I do is I get the three together here and just rip them off and save you doing them all individually. And there we go, boom, that's them all in. And then a quick stir. I always use two stirrers as well to get a good stir on the go there. And there we are, folks. Life hack, a cup of tea for your tea break. Saving you precious seconds on your tea break. I must say, there we go. Thank you. Now, after last night's disastrous attempt at making a spinner toy, I must say, I think I've solved it, folks. Wait till I get home and I'll show you what I've done. But in the meantime, I must say that a single bearing actually is a, a rather good fidget toy just on its own if you've got a particularly good one here. This one is ABEC 7, so it's a particularly good sort of free spinner. There. Look at that. And it's actually really good um, just for, you know, just fiddling about with and, and fidgeting with because it's got a lot of movement in it there, you can do loads with it. Well, you can't really, you can just twiddle it around really, but it's, it's quite therapeutic in its own right. And 
when I'm calling the bingo numbers, just to keep myself concentrated, I'm, I'm you know, pressing the, pressing the button and, yeah, you know, you can sort of just fidget with it. So I, I really can't wait for this spinner toy to arrive. I've ordered three of them. One's like a tri-spinner, one's a, it's called the torque bar, which is just a little thing. And the other one was just a, a little novelty thing, which only cost a couple of quid. So we're gonna do a test of those later on. But as I said, in the meantime, just playing with a single bearing on its own, folks, can be very therapeutic just on its own. You know, there's a couple of ways you can tweak it about, yeah. So there we go. <laughs> Last night, what a disaster that was. That was so funny when, when I was spinning it around and the thing pinged off, I was like, oh man. And you know, I've still got the, the bits on my, my finger from the glue there. It was just, I really am just so, what's the word I'm looking for? Just, I'm just not very, I mean, I'm, I'm quite artistic really, um, but not when it comes to doing sort of crafty things. You know, I seem to end up making a mess and just, you know, just, I just can't compose myself properly for getting things done neatly. And I mean, I was in such a hurry to get that done. That was the basic trouble. I should have really, you know, took a little bit more time and thought about what I was doing. And I don't think you actually need to take these bits off and take the plastic bit out, because I think they are quite actually good on their own. The old bearings where you take the grease out, they were, they were quite old bearings, I think. The newer ones now seem to have this little bit of plastic in there, so the bearings run a lot freer. Yeah, so that's typical Jag, just dying to get his hands on it. It's part of this addictive personality thing, you know, I see something and I want it and I can't wait and I need to get it, I think about it all the time. It really is a terrible affliction to have. And as you see, I spent, what, 24 quid on bearings um, and glue and all that kind of stuff. It's shocking, man, it really is. When I could have just waited a couple more days and I would have had a, a, a decent spinner in my hand without the cost and without the trouble and the tribulations of trying to make it. And you know, I, anyway, that's what you get. So there we are. In the meantime, this, this is doing quite nicely, thank you. All right, just having a little stroll down Shroom Alley, folks. It's still very bare and nothing much happening here. Bit of excitement here though, as I found on the floor here. Somebody's headphones. Some youths obviously been running for the bus and dropped them or something, but it's about the only excitement I'm afraid down Shroom Alley today. Won't be long before the leaves are back on again, folks, and Shroom Alley is in full bloom again. However, there are still some shrooms kicking around here, look. Right folks, you find a very happy jag here. This is uh, about quarter to four and I've just come home and my toys have arrived. My fidget toys have arrived, folks. The most exciting one is the spinner. There it is, look at that. Oh, it's arrived, man. I'm so happy with that. Now, I'll be doing a full review of this later on um but they, that's the kind of thing i that was what i was trying to make folks okay there it is and also we have these fidget toys that have arrived as well all from ebay they're just lovely little sort of you know fidgety things so as i said we'll be doing a, a full review of these later on and here's another one that's come through it's a similar thing but i remember seeing this this particular one i saw this ages and ages ago um, on something. I can't remember what it was on now, but I thought I must get one of those. And when I checked it out online, it was something ridiculous, like 30 quid or something. I thought, oh no, it's too much for that. But now I found this on eBay for 4 95 And it's, look, it's like this, man. It's just a, it's one of these, you know, toys that they say are very good for fidgety people. Uh, or autism or ADAH. Sorry, I said that wrong last time on the video, but uh, there you go. That's that's what it is, man. This one's very similar to that. Oh yes, I'm going to be fidgeting away all day, man. Um, so it makes my my fidget toy that I made look a bit feeble. But however, I've got another plan for this. I thought maybe a ball bearing in there, you know, so you could. I'm thinking of, of doing something like that. I'm so happy with the spinner, that's the main thing. Now, remember I was telling you about um, how I've almost made my my own spinner toy. Well, look, I forgot I had this stuff. It's called Sugru. There it is there, Sugru, which is like moldable glue. And uh, you mold it and then you leave it for 24 hours and it sets. So I've managed to 
I'm not going to risk spinning it, folks, just in case it comes flying off again. But that's there. You go. Look, that's actually not too bad. Yeah. So I'm going to leave that for another another few uh, another day at least. Right. I'm really excited. I'm so happy with my spinner. That. That's brilliant. I've got a couple more of these. Oh yeah, you can feel the centrifugal force in that as you spin it, man. Oh, that's going to be so addictive. Wow. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, look at the spin on it as well. Look, it just spins for ages. Crikey. There you go, look at that. Isn't that just so good, man? I love these kind of things. Yeah, look, nice and quiet, so I can spin it at work. I think the, the main gist of it is that you can, you have it in your fingers like this and you just sort of flick it like this as you're walking around or, or as you're concentrating or doing whatever. But these ones are very intriguing as well, I must say. So anyway, a full review of the fidget toys. I've still got a couple left to come, folks. We've got a fidget cube and a couple of the stress toys. But in the meantime, very happy Jag signing off from Spiz HQ. Thank you. I'm going to fidget all day. Yes, excellent. <laughs>